we are growing our orthopedic specialty, training uh, fellows that are going to become uh, kind of equal expert to us in things like joint replacement. So we just finished the training of our the first fellow. This is a new thing. We're starting our second fellow also, and we can uh, kind of grow the service that we provide uh, to uh, thousands of dogs that we treat here for severe orthopedic problems. We can do surgery uh, more rapidly if you have a problem, you don't have to wait as long and more successfully in this beautiful environment. So tell me um, some fast facts. I, I think you're one of two places in the world that train um, already veterinary surgeons into a fellowship program that allows them to be specialists in joint replacement, is that correct? Yeah, we think joint replacement is very important. It's not a service that's readily available anywhere and expertise, you could say, is a bit lacking. Not too many places, less than 10 places have a kind of a sustained caseload in this country. And so here we, we not only we, we have a sustained caseload, but we want to continue to grow the expertise in a range of total joint replacement. The, you could say the most common one that's needed is hip replacement, and you have, a, you have an example right there. Right, so you were just sharing with me, um, this is a 3D printed piece that would go into a femur, and um, you'd remove the femoral head, this would go on, and then this allows a dog to be able to walk again, and many times now dogs are euthanized because of this problem. That's correct. We're saving life, working dogs can go back to work, and uh, so it, it makes a profound difference in their mobility, their quality of life. We'll do a joint replacement in cats sometimes. Uh, we'll do hip replacement in cats. Yeah. We, we develop a little uh, joint replacement here at uh, UC Davis in collaboration with the craniofacial surgeon. We develop a temporal mandibular joint replacement. We are so that would be for a jaw. If a uh, jaw. This is a would be a dog jaw, but we we have also a cat jaw wow. uh, implant that uh, is very tiny, yeah. but still uh, very helpful yeah. if if you need that replacement. Uh, and so here we blend uh, tr exposing our students, uh, teaching our residents and teaching our fellows. Our, our fellows spend a year or two with us, so they have a much broader exposure, but the residents also benefit. Yeah. And, uh, and the students, of course, benefit in seeing advanced veterinary surgery. So. so this facility will be able to see thousands and thousands of dogs and cats in many of those cases historically would have had to be euthanized because of their severe disease. Or have surgeries that might be uh, less satisfactory, that are, you know, kind of maybe older Hope in their while. concept. Yes, yeah. exactly, helpless. So we, we help quality of life. We also, of course, we treat a lot of fractures. So treating your fractures rapidly and, and, and well also makes all the difference in yep. the world. Awesome. We see puppies with deformities, we'll do you know deformity corrections that we can plan very precisely. So we'll all the complex deformities are planned and rehearsed before we do it in the in whether we rehearse them on a computer or with uh, preparing a frame like this that that's you know for us that, that also has become much more routine so we we make it safer. So what you did was take a, a CAT scan mm -hmm. and then put that into a 3D printer which created these plastic bones. Yes. And now you have what was abnormal with this dog leg before um, and how you would use various orthopedic pins um, to re repair it. Yeah, exactly. We can design something that will be, because this is precise replica of the bone, then we'll design a frame just for this dog. Sometimes we just do it internally yep. if we can. If we need to make the leg longer, we'll do right. it with this giant brace, if you wow. want, that will make the leg longer and straighter at the same time. And that's also very well tolerated by our patients. We, we do several hundred of those a year. So it's, you know, it, it's not even just all we can do. It is that that has been integrated into what right. we do with both on the joint replacement side, we can prepare on the computer and or re re prepare with a replica like this. And then on the deformity, same thing. Some of them are better prepared on the computer and some of them we, we want to do it for real and we prepare it like that. Very cool. 
most total joints are going to go home the day after surgery. Sometimes it's uh, more traumatic because of the, the chronicity of the problem. Right. Maybe very large patients take a little bit more time to recover. But most of our patients are going to be like Anakin, who, who is, you know, who had been in pain for years. Yeah. He's a very, very protective of his hip and very anxious about his chronic pain. Nevertheless, he's using his leg already less yep. than 24 hours after surgery and he will he will, it will be safe to send him home protected for a couple of three months. He's going to not do what he wants, but we'll, right. we'll protect him. But he's ready to go home safely, and that's, that's our classic way to do things. Awesome. Well, my right hip has you know, been arthritis for years, so I'm, I'm coming in next week, and you can radiograph. All right, we can't wait to talk to your owner. <laughs> <laughs>